City man is punched in the face by an officer, and the video has now gone viral. I didn't go towards him. He came right at me. He looked mad. He looked like somebody that was getting ready to fight. Tonight, we are hearing from that man who claims he did nothing wrong. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is in the newsroom with what police are also saying. Jen? Sam and Adrian, from the video, people are coming up with their own conclusion. But from the man who was arrested, he never expected this to happen and wants people to hear, hear his side of the story. This is exclusive video of Ron Wybera walking out of the Sutter County Jail after his arraignment for resisting arrest was dropped. I'm free to go home. On Monday, he was caught on camera being hit and forced to the ground by a Yuba City police officer. Whoa, I said, is that Ronnie? I thought it was Ronnie. I was like, no way. Yeah, I just couldn't believe that that cop did that to him. He says the altercation was unexpected. The next thing I know, I'm on the ground, uh, been belted twice, and I thought he only hit me once. I, it happened so fast, I can't tell you. The incident took place in the parking lot of the Taco Bell on Bridge Street. Ron says he was the one who called police after a man on a bike ran over his foot. He says he was not armed and never hit the officer. To slug me in the face? Come on, that, that's not a police uh, tactic as far as I know. The Yuba City Police Department has now launched an internal investigation. Our officers are equipped with uh, body cameras and the cars are as well. However, that video is not being released and police ask citizens to be patient. There's a very small clip on the internet and I would tell people that wait till you see the full investigation. Don't make a judgment based on 10 seconds. There's, there's more out there. While the officer was not hurt and remains on active duty, Wybera says he suffered scrapes, bruises, and the attack was unwarranted. He had me on the ground burning me, and I kept telling him, you're burning me. Wybera is now considering a lawsuit and hopes the department takes action against the officer. He needs a suspension, and he needs to think about it. He needs to have his job looked at, you know, let him understand that you cannot treat the public that way. And we spoke with the district attorney's office, and they say they're waiting until the investigation is complete before deciding to place any charges. Well, it is difficult to look at uh, that video, Jen. Wow. All right. Thanks so much for that live report in our newsroom. New tonight.